have Sony screwed MCU Spider-Man over again? Welcome to the Superior Comic Show. I'm your host, Peter. All I like to do is talk about nerdy shit. So if that's stuff you're into, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button so you know when I post. Road to 10k. We have a little bit to go. Let's get into it. So the Venom The Last Dance trailer dropped a couple of days ago. I have my reaction to it. You can check that out in my videos. But there's one scene that really left an impact on me. No, not the Vorse. The Vorse. That was awesome. But it was this scene here. So this scene looks like it's taken directly from the end of Spider-Man No Way Home where a bit of the symbiote gets left behind in the MCU continuity. So everyone I know who's a Spider-Man fan was so hyped when we seen that symbiote being left behind. We were like, we are getting symbiote Spider-Man in the MCU and then potentially leading to Venom. But if, now again, big if, I could be wrong here, I could be jumping the gun. If this scene in Venom The Last Dance is them extracting that symbiote piece from the MCU universe, things get a bit messy. One, they screw Tom Holland Spider-Man out of getting the chance of that symbiote suit and that iconic storyline in Spider-Man history. Two, shouldn't the TVA get involved? Because uh, that's mortal. You know, so, like, that's a variant. And three, how would they even get there? How would they get there to extract the symbiote? I'm interested to see how they explain that. Now, look, as I said, I will openly admit I could be jumping the gun here. It could be a different bar. It could be another piece of the symbiote fell off. He'd be losing a lot of pieces of himself in him. Especially with this movie. With this whole franchise. He lost the spider symbol and the origin. But I digress. But it's just, I hope they have a good explanation for this. Because otherwise, not only have they just created tons of plot holes and universe holes, they've also screwed us out of the chance of seeing Tom Holland in the black suit. And I think he could play that darker, more angry Peter Parker really well. I think he deserves the chance to experiment with that with his Peter Parker. So I really hope that they do have a good explanation for this scene. That it's not the MCU's leftover symbiote, but only time will tell. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Is it the MCU leftover symbiote, or is this going to be a completely different scene? And if you think it is the MCU, MCU where they're extracting this piece of symbiote from, how do you think they're going to explain A, how they got there, and B, why the TVA aren't coming to get this Mordo variant out of there right now? But yeah, short enough video this time. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you stuck around this long, please hit subscribe. Give me your thoughts down in the comments. And follow me on all social medias. And also, I wrote my own comic. It's called Baller. We're on issue three. If you go to Kickstarter and search Baller, you can follow the pre-launch now. There will be catch-up tiers. But to dip your toe on Global Comics, issue one is currently free. Just go to Global Comics and search up Baller. Anyway, slanger.